Hi, this is Alex from Enencia, and today I'm really excited to introduce you guys to our dedicated plugin software, Plume. From inside your DAW, Plume hosts your favorite instrument, allowing you to take direct control of its parameters. This lets you shape your sound in really interesting ways. Filters, LFO, envelope, expression, you name it. The possibilities are just limitless. This video is meant as a global overview, as well as a very basic tutorial, so you can get started using Plume right now. The different sections are timestamped down below, so feel free to skip ahead if you want. Now, let's get started. Let's talk about installing Plume at first. Before you install, make sure your hub and ring are up to date using our dashboard software. You can find Plume's installer on our website, download the file, launch it, then follow the instructions to complete the install. On Windows, you'll have to select the path you want Plume to get installed to. On Mac, it will be installed to the default plugin locations instead. Plume is available in VST format for both Mac and Windows, and also in audio unit format for Mac only. Now that Plume is installed, it should display in your DAW. Place it in a track and you're good to go. But before showing off Plume, I want to point out a few possible issues you might encounter. First, make sure Neova is listed in your MIDI devices. You have to receive data from Neova in order for Plume to work. Beware of messages from Neova. Even when you are using Plume, Neova can still send MIDI messages to your DAW that will affect the other instruments. If this is not something you want, make sure you mute Neova before using Plume. Before we dive into the specifics, I'll give you a brief overview of Plume's interface. This is the main panel, which you use to create your gestures and assign them to instrument parameters. On the left, this sidebar is what lets you browse and load presets with several different filters to narrow down your search. This bar on the top right corner is about hosting instruments. It can either display the current instrument or launch a new one instead. Let's talk about hosting plugins. Plume doesn't make any sound on its own, so you'll have to use other instruments with it. When you launch Plume for the first time, your instrument list will be empty. Just like your DAW software did at first, Plume needs to scan your instruments before it can use them. Open the options with the top left button, then go into the file section. There, you have the option to use your default system folders or a custom one instead. After setting everything up, click scan and wait until it finishes. Once this is done, go back to the arrow which should now display your full instrument list. Select the one you want and there you go. Now that you have an instrument, you'll want to use Neova along with it. On the main panel, you have several slots that you can fill with one of our four gestures. The vibrato, the pitch bend, the tilt, and the roll. If you aren't familiar with them, I recommend you watch our gesture video. You can find a link in the description. To add a gesture, click on a slot, then select the gesture you want. The central panel gives you access to the gestures ranges and settings on the top part. The bottom part is dedicated to communicating with the plugin. There are two different modes here, the map mode and the MIDI mode. In the map mode, you directly connect the gesture to the instrument's parameters. To do so, click on the map button, then move the parameter you want from your instrument's interface. For instance, I want to use the tilt gesture to control this filter on my Falcon patch. I click on map, then move the filter slider, and there you go. I can now control the filter using my ring. On the parameter, there are several controls I can tweak. I can change the range of the parameter the tilt accesses, and I can reverse the gesture control. The second mode is the MIDI mode. When in the MIDI mode, Plume will instead communicate with the hosted instrument using MIDI messages. 
which can be useful for instruments that can only use MIDI for their controls. You can select the message type here between CC and pitch messages and change the message number if you are using CC. You can also change the range and reverse the controls just like you could in map mode. Next up, I want to talk to you guys about the presets. They do just what you think, saving and loading your cool patches and use other ones from the community. With a fresh install of Plume, you'll have access to numerous factory presets for a plug and play experience. You can access your presets using the sidebar. From there, you can load any of them with a double click. If there are too many presets in here, you have different filters up there to narrow down the list. You can search by name, by category, by type of sound, but also by instrument. If you want to create a new preset, use the save button in the header. This opens this panel in which you can set all the info you want. Hit save and there you go. Keep in mind that a preset both holds a gesture configuration and an instrument. If you try to load a preset but you don't have the instrument for it, only the gestures will load. If you're a music producer, you'll probably want to record the music you made with Plume. Well, it is possible using Plume's plugging parameters. Those are linked to every single gesture type and can be recorded in real time inside your DAW softwares. As a disclaimer, this part will heavily depend on the DAW software you're using. But most of the time you want to select or arm the track you want and hit record. The parameters will be recorded alongside your MIDI. On other DAWs, you'll have to select the specific parameter you want and set it to record or write or latch, whichever is there. If everything was done properly, you will be able to play back your hand motions alongside your MIDI notes. This concludes the Plume video. We hope we covered everything you needed to know about Plume, and in case we didn't, check out our support page using the link in the description below. We really hope you all enjoy using Plume, and we look forward to hearing all the music you make with it.